You now have the pieces in place to construct a posterior model of P, your underlying support in the upcoming election. First, the Beta 4555 prior model suggested that your support hovered around 45%. Subsequently, you polled n equals 10 voters and recorded the number x that support you. Conditioned on your support P, the likelihood model of x is binomial. Upon observing x equals 6, the corresponding likelihood function indicates that values of support P near 0.6 are the most compatible with your poll. The prior and likelihood, scaled here for comparison, don't completely agree, yet both are valuable to a Bayesian analysis. The prior contributes knowledge that you built prior to the most recent poll. The likelihood provides insight into the values of P that are most compatible with the current polling data. The posterior model combines the insights from the prior and likelihood. Here, the posterior reflects increased optimism about your election chances in light of the small but optimistic polling data. In the previous course, you learned that the exact specification of the posterior can be obtained through Bayes' rule. Specifically, the posterior is proportional to the product of the likelihood and prior. However, in more sophisticated model settings, tidy, closed-form solutions to this formula might not exist. Thus, in this course, we'll focus on approximating posterior models using RJEGS. RJEGS combines the power of R with the Just Another Gibbs Sampler, or JEGS engine. To get started, first download the JEGS program outside R. Then within R, install the most recent version of the RJEGS package. There are three essential steps to all RJEGS analyses. Define, compile, and simulate. To begin, we define the Bayesian model by a model string and store this as vote model. The two lines of code within the curly brackets define the two important pieces of your model. The dbin function specifies that the likelihood structure, or the dependence of x on p, is modeled by the binomial np distribution. Similarly, the dbeta function specifies a beta ab prior model for p. If you're familiar with the dbinome function in base R, you might think that there's a typo in the dbin call. The order of n and p are reversed. This isn't a typo. It's important to keep in mind that probability functions work differently in RJEGS than they do in base R. Next, we compile the model using the JEGS model function. Very loosely speaking, the goal here is to send information out to the JEGS program which will then design an algorithm to sample from the posterior. In the first argument, we provide a text connection to the defined vote model string. In the data argument, we supply the values of the A and B prior shape parameters, as well as the observed values of polling data X and N. The init's argument ensures the reproducibility of our simulation results. We'll elaborate on this in chapter two. Finally, we simulate the posterior using CODA samples to draw 10,000 approximate samples from the posterior. CODA samples takes three arguments. Model, your compiled vote JEGS model. Variable names, here your parameter of interest P. And N iter, your desired sample size or number of iterations. The results, stored in vote sim, are an mcmc.list object. We can take a quick peek at the distribution of the resulting 10,000 CODA samples using the plot function. Importantly, this approximates the posterior model of your election support P. It's your turn to define, compile, and simulate. In the remaining Chapter 1 exercises, you'll play around with RJEGS while exploring the impact that different priors and different data can have on the posterior election model.